Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a problem here, and this is actually problem number 53 on page 177. So this is page 177, and you could find this is problem 53. We're going to rewrite f of x, and the book has given us a hint that x squared minus 2x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. So let's go ahead and see what the other factor is now. We can look at this one right now, and we know that's a non-real uh, quadratic. We could do that with other techniques, but let's just go ahead and do long division. Let's set this up, okay? So we use our division symbol, the same way we start out, and we're going to put x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus plus 5x x squared minus 2x Okay, minus 6. We're going to make this go a little bigger. And on the outside here, we're going to have x squared minus 2x minus 2. Our first question is, what do we multiply x squared by to get x to the fourth? And that would be x squared. So we're going to put the x squared above the x squared term in our division problem. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. And then x squared times minus 2x is going to be minus 2x cubed. Our next term will be x squared times negative 2 minus 2x squared. And remember what we're going to do now is we're going to group that. We're going to subtract it. And remember that we go ahead and distribute that negative to each term. So first terms cancel. The second term will be negative 4 plus 2 for the coefficients of the x cube term. So that would give us a minus 2x cubed when I add up positive 2 and a negative 4. Next ones, I've got a negative, negative 2, so that becomes a positive 2 plus 5 gives us positive 7x squared. Okay, And then I'm just going to bring down these next two terms. Again, I'm now looking at what am I going to multiply x squared by to give me negative 2x cubed, and that will be negative 2. So multiplying the negative 2 times the three terms, first one will be a negative, okay, that's sorry, that's negative 2x because I need to have x cubed, okay? I forgot. I'm looking for x cubed. So negative 2x plus x squared be negative 2x cubed. That's what we wanted. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4x squared. And then positive 4x plus 4x. Let's group that. Let's subtract it and we see that first term drops out. Coefficients now for the x squared term are negative 4 plus 7. So that's going to be 3x squared. Then we have a, po a negative 4 combined with a negative 2, negative 6x. And then we um, bring down our next term, negative 6. So finally up here we would multiply x squared by 3, so we're going to have a positive 3, and we would have 3x squared minus 6x minus 6. We subtract. First term drops out. Positive 6 plus negative 6 is a 0, and a positive 6 plus negative 6 is a 0. And so now r is equal to 0. So that means that what we found, since r is equal to 0, that it turns out that x squared minus 2x plus 3 is a factor. And in fact, uh, that would be fine the way it is. So we could rewrite f of x as a product of two factors. And that would be equal to x squared minus 2x minus 2 
times the factor x squared minus 2x plus 3. Okay, so that is the end of that problem. Okay, so hopefully this little bit of polynomial long division has been helpful. I would suggest that you find some other YouTube videos as well that you could uh, view. I'll hopefully post those and if not just go ahead and search YouTube and look up uh, the keywords polynomial long division. Okay, bye-bye.